hello everyone welcome back to the tableau tutorials in this video we are going to discuss about the map visualizations in tableau so uh, what are the map visualizations maps uh, are a specific type of visualization which help us to pinpoint to the exact locations that are given in the data set when we are talking about maps we have got two built-in map visualizations in tableau which we can uh, get into the show me tab first is a symbol map and the second is a normal map so the symbol map as the name suggests uses a symbol to pinpoint to the locations while a normal map what it does is it just highlights the area which is being pointed by our location or by the data now the thing comes is what kind of parameters can be treated as a location right of course the simple text such as apple ball cat these cannot be treated as locations so we have specific things which can be treated as locations these are the latitude and the longitude values which are the most accurate measure for the locations in case you don't have these values in your data set you can also take the country names the state names the city names as the location values there is a one simple way to identify those and that is this earth symbol if you go to the uh, left side of your uh, uh, tableau screen that is in this measure value section then you see city uh, is represented by this earth symbol that means tableau automatically recognizes these values as the location values and if we want we can use them to pinpoint to the locations onto the map similarly for the country or the region values similarly for the postal code values and similarly for the state values as well as far as latitude and longitude are concerned so as you can see that these two are also the values that are represented by this earth symbol but if you take a look at the tooltip we are getting that it is a generated field with longitude values used with geographic dimensions in map views so uh, these latitude and longitude were not already present in our data but they were automatically generated by tableau on the basis of the geographical data that we had the geographical data we had was postal code we had the country we had the state and we had the city so on the basis of all these values tableau automatically generated the latitude and the longitude values and now we can use these values to create a map out of it so let's see how do we create a map first of all we would be taking a look at the symbol map so the minimum requirement for the symbol map is one geographical location that's it otherwise we can add more things more measure values more measure names but this is the minimum requirement one geographical location so what we can do is actually set this latitude and the longitude values uh, just get this latitude into the columns this longitude into the rows and uh, automatically a map would have been generated like this map is now um, enabled over here okay so if we just go to one null so there is this filter data option and okay so it took a few seconds but now the map is loaded okay and this is how it is looking right but what we want is we don't want something like this we want right the locations to be pointed so what is the criteria on the basis of which we are going to point the locations suppose we want the sales value so let's just get the sales into the rows and let's see if it is working no it's not working uh, so what we are going to do is actually clear this whole sheet instead of the latitude and the longitude values let's just get the state into the columns okay and make sure the map is selected now once we select the map all these states would be pointed like this okay suppose we get a uh, sales into the size so what will happen is the bubbles that we had available now they are uh, in the varied sizes or the different sizes and why is that it is because uh, now whatever the uh, sum of the states has been given or whatever the um, sales have been given in a particular state the size of the bubble corresponds to that like new york and california give us far more sales than Win wisconsin and michigan states so that is why the bubbles is larger in size because we got the uh, state in the size we can just increase the size a little bit to get a better glimpse of the data that has been shown over here furthermore we can make uh, many changes like we can change the color of the bubbles to suppose orange to showcase the sales we can add a label as well uh, so if we just go here suppose we want the amount of the sales that what is the sales amount that has been given okay so we can make uh, those changes as well by clicking on this 
show mark labels option right so it would show you the amount of the sales that have been done you want some details to be there you want some tooltip to be there you can add those values as well suppose we want profit to be shown as well so what we can do is just drag this profit into the label column and the profit values would be shown the circle sizes of the sales by the values that are being shown to us is of the profit furthermore we can make even more changes like instead of getting the profit uh, into this label we can get it into the colors so the circle size represents the sales but the circle color represents the profit so just like this we can use the same map to showcase multiple forms of data right now we have uh, these buttons that are available these are the zooming button we can zoom in or zoom out this is the pin button that is used to pinpoint to the location that has been shown under the map and these are the selection uh, portions like uh, if you want to select anything or if you want to just zoom into the area using this magnifying glass button then you can do that as well okay so these are the map controls that we're getting we can use these map controls now uh, let's talk about uh, using the different types of information in the map how can we use them okay so suppose uh, this has been shown let's just remove the profit from here we are just getting the sales amount into the color portion uh, into the size portion actually and the color we are sent as orange now we don't want the overall sales we want uh, the subcategory wise sales or basically the segment wise sales okay so we had three things in the segment so let's just get the segment wise sales what we can do is just get the segment into the color portion and we would be getting the different segments like if we just zoom in a little bit so you see suppose in the states of indiana what we are getting is the different values of the segment right like uh, first we are getting orange then we are getting blue values just like this yeah. so this is uh, how the things work in tableau like we can get the different values of the segment like which segment is most sold so if we just take a look um, a broad look so we can see the consumer segment is the most selling segment however in the states of indiana corporate and in the missouri also the corporate segment is more uh, sold samely um, just like this the home office segment is more sold in the rhode island and some of the states nearby so this is the kind of the information you can show through the map now this is just a simple map let us talk about a field map okay so let me just duplicate this sheet uh, because everything could be similar just the thing is that instead of a symbol map we would be getting a field map so when we are talking about the field map let's just remove these values this is how our field map is looking right we are getting the state and the sum of the sales that is in the colors portion so size has no effect over here the only effect we have is through the colors portion right so the darkest color is california that means it is giving us the maximum sales and the lightest color whatever state is like west virginia so it is giving us the least amount of sales this is the difference in the colors through the field map while in the symbols map we have the difference in the size of the symbols that are being used now uh, suppose you want uh, instead of the sales you want a profit let's just get the profit into the colors portion so this is uh, having the different colors you want to edit the colors size uh, color to red green diverging you can do that as well so as to get a red and the blue things for this color now suppose you want the name of the states into the labels portion so you can just add it into the labels and all the state names would be shown just like this to make it much more visually appealing right and there are a number of things that you can do in these maps to make them visually appealing like uh, change the way they are looking uh, okay we have different forms of maps like one where waters are being labeled where the boundaries are not there only a particular state is shown which we want to show like uh, most of the data is from us so we only want us to be shown so these kind of states would be visible to us right so all these changes we can do in the maps with the help of this uh, map option as you can see over here uh, right now we have the light if we just select to normal so as you can see the water bodies are now visible with a blue color similarly we have these different options which we can select like a satellite view so it would be giving us the satellite view of the map uh, we have other options like the streets view or the outdoors view or whatever the dark view we are getting you can just go through these different views to get the one that fits your needs the best i think normal is looking good so i'm going with that next we have is the map layers and the map options so if you just go to map options we have these things like 
these toolbar options which we want to show or not by default they are all selected to on but if you want you can uncheck them as well there are still a number of things which we can do through maps to customize them which we would be taking a look in the next video that's all for this one